So first, YouTube completely shadow bans a series idea where I make fun of the society that believes in a flat earth. I know I got shadow bans because they put one of those Wikipedia fact check things saying how I'm wrong on every single video. Next, YouTube takes down three of my videos where I go undercover behind a reality TV show, which these videos got taken down due to copyright, and, uh, and it's like I, I used footage of myself. Like, I, I think that's fair use. But because of this, the Reckless Ben YouTube channel is now labeled as one of those copycat channels that just copies content from other people and reposts it to get views. And I know this because YouTube told me that when I tried to order my 100,000 subscriber plaque. However, after a lot of negotiating, I actually did get the plaque. You're probably wondering why I hung it up so low. And to answer your question, it's to cover this hole that my roommate made. And then this horse painting is to distract the viewer from how oddly placed the YouTube plaque is. But now I got another video taken down. A video where I try and go undercover to expose pyramid schemes on why they're bad. And YouTube took this video down because they, they thought I was promoting pyramid schemes. Like, I, it makes no sense. Like, you can't get more of an opposite video of what they're accusing me of than, than the video that I actually put out. But another one of my pyramid scheme videos also got taken down. I'm exposing things that no one else on YouTube is exposing and uh, I feel like I should be rewarded for this, but instead YouTube's just taken down all my videos. I don't think YouTube understands this. Um, so I'm gonna talk to YouTube today and see if we can get this resolved. Hey, my video was actually wrongly categorized as promoting a scam. I could see how the algorithm could get confused, but I'd like to find a way to get the video back up. Apologies, as we won't be able to help you restore the video due to our terms of service. You said it had to be taken down because YouTube doesn't like scams, and the video being up will stop future scams from taking place. Since it's part of YouTube's terms of service, we really won't be able to help you restore the video. Okay, how did I break YouTube's terms of service? Your content on filtrating a pyramid scheme was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines. Does YouTube have a secret love for pyramid schemes? It's not allowed. Why not? But YouTube just doesn't allow the type of content. I hope you I want you to show me right now where this goes against YouTube's terms of service. The information is available in your YouTube studio. Okay, all it says in my YouTube studio is you can't promote pyramid schemes. I'm exposing a pyramid scheme. Discussing about it too is just against the policy. Okay. So if YouTube says pyramid schemes are bad, and I also say pyramid schemes are bad, then, then that falls under me promoting pyramid schemes? Like, like what? Please explain to me how this logic works. I've been on the uh, three suspense bubbles for what well, seems like eternity now. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna draw it on paper and send it to you as an attachment. YouTube is against scams. Reckless Ben is also against scams. YouTube and Reckless Ben are on the same side. Yes, I got your point. Okay, good. So you'll put the video back up? Apologies, but we won't be able to do that. You obviously don't understand my point. Please understand that those type of content is against- I'm gonna try a new technique and see if I can find a new way to get my point across. Yes or no? YouTube is against scams. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so according to that logic, YouTube should not take down a video that is stopping future people from getting scammed. Discussion or content about it too. Yes or no? According to the logic you answered in the previous question, YouTube should not take down a video stopping future people from getting scammed. Discussion or content about it is just against the policy. I'm really sorry as we won't be able to help you. Why? Due to YouTube's terms of service. Why is it against YouTube's terms of service? It's just part of the policy. No, it's not part of the policy. I checked. You're wrong. I won't be able to provide additional information about that. You know what? I think this YouTube support person just needs to see a little bit of role play to understand. Here, I'll give you an example answer. Reckless Ben, why is uploading a video of murder bad? YouTube support person, because killing people is bad. Okay, now real life. Why is exposing a scam bad? I understand your logic. Please understand as well that we won't still be able to help you restore your video. I don't think you understand my logic or else you'd help me get the video back up. But your content is still against the policy. Our team reviewed that before it was taken down and we won't be able to assist Okay, you what if the team it. was wrong? I don't think there was a mistake since discussion work. I would like to see where infiltrating a pyramid scheme is against YouTube's policy. I can't you an example as it's already posted in your notification. It's not posted in my notifications. We already went over this. We won't be able to help you restore your video. I apologize. Why? The content is against the policy. How? Discussion of infiltrating pyramid schemes. Where does it say that? From the notification you've received, which our team reviewed. Ah! My notifications say I can't promote scams. I'm doing the literal opposite of that. Well, what if the team was wrong? It wasn't and the decision is final. 
Really How do you know it wasn't wrong? I've confirmed this to our internal team. I'm really sorry about this. How would you confirm it with them that was supposed to be taken down? Unfortunately, the decision is already This doesn't answer my question. They did not provide me a detailed information. Then how are you so certain that the review people made the best decision when reviewing the video? They are the team who reviews such case and the decision is final. Is the decision still final even if it's the wrong decision? I don't think it's wrong as I even confirmed it to the team. How can you confirm something with no information? Define confirming it with your team. It means that the initial review will stand and we can't help you restore your video. So you didn't confirm that they made the correct decision? Yes, they did not provide any additional information. Okay, with no additional information provided, how can you be so certain that they made the correct decision? Aside from this, is there anything else? I will get to what I need next after this is solved. Well, I think I broke YouTube or something. What's up? It's Commentary Ben again. It's still the same day, I just changed shirts for a smoother transition. So, what did we learn today? Not much, except it's gonna be very scary in about 50 years when YouTube completely takes over. The year is 2071, and YouTube has completely taken over. The core is in order, bitch. Yes, on trial is a really bad murderer. Thanks to our hero detective Reckless Ben, the murderer has been caught. Thing and I like the person that is there in front of me named Ben. I pronounce the murderer guilty of murder. Take him away. And now I announce our hero detective Reckless Ben also for murder. What the heck Alexa? Discussion about murder is also just not allowed. I solved the murder. Why, why am I getting charged for murder now? I understand your logic but the review is final. Take him away. Yes, guys, 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 you guys suck. You're the fuck this guy. Dude, this is rigged. This is rigged. Sorry but the review is already final. Yeah, I knew that the whole time. Enjoy free square meals and a shelter over your head. Sheesh. Ben Schneider more like... Bend that ass over and let me schneider these ass. Ah! Ugh, schneider that. Spencer, do better. Do better. Uh, do you want to go to Massachusetts? No. Mass Massachusetts on these nuts. Yes, in 2071, these nuts comes back, and it's it's still not good. So, what am I gonna do about this? Since YouTube ad revenue is my only source of revenue right now, I know I know it guys, I'm stupid. And uh, YouTube keeps taking down all my videos. So it's hard to make videos where I'm trying to do the craziest stuff on all of YouTube with, with literally a zero budget. But I've come up with a plan. Uh, I have started a Patreon. So every time YouTube deletes one of my videos, I will just upload it to Patreon and you can watch it there. There's also gonna be a lot of sick behind the scenes stuff too, so. Come on, the cops saw us, come on, the cops saw us, come on. There's a lot of you guys out there that's like, yo, how does Reckless Ben pull all of this stuff off? Subscribe to my Patreon and you can find out all my secrets. And hopefully with this small budget, I'll be able to create the best YouTube videos on all of YouTube. I'm sorry that uh, this video didn't have like a crazy ending like it normally does. But this one, I guess we're just gonna end it the, the traditional YouTube style. So uh, if you wanna see next week's video, you can click here. If you wanna see last week's video, you can click here. If you wanna subscribe, then you can click this button. Hello Ben, it's the judge from the future and I am here to lock you up for murder for solving the murder. Oh shoot, I gotta go. Get back here right now Ben.